Howdy folks, breaking news here, Brother Jim from End Times Prophecy News, reporting from Gateway Pundit. Trump slams Schiff amid the New York Times bombshell report. The left is exposing the left again. Schiff is a fraud and he helped write the whistleblower complaint. Quote unquote from Trump today. So what has happened here? Well, let me first give you the news at, at relating starting up from it. Okay, so this came in earlier today. Schiff learned about deep state CIA spies accusations several days before whistleblower filed complaint. House Intelligence Chairman Adam Schiff learned about the deep state spy. Oops, where did I go here? Uh, Accusations against President Trump several days before the officer filed a whistleblower complaint. It is blatantly obvious that Adam Schiff is one of the main architects of this coup against Trump and worked with Brennan Protégé to help him craft the complaint. Then, just days after the whistleblower filed a claim of wrongdoing by President Trump, an aide to Schiff flew to Ukraine. The trip by a staffer on the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, on which Schiff serves as chairman, was, quote, sponsored and organized by the Atlantic Council think tank, Breitbart reported. The council is funded by and routinely works in partnership with Burisma, the natural gas company at the center of allegations regarding Joe Biden and his son, Hunter Biden. So Schiff knew about the accusations well before the CIA spy filed a whistleblower complaint and planned accordingly. It seems we are hearing the wording that the spy is actually a male. Okay, so it seems I got some bad news that it was this Sue Gordon in the bat in the past. But we'll find out soon here, because Trump is demanding to see his accuser now. Schiff colluded with the deep state CIA spy. This is a conspiracy against President Trump. The New York Times reports the Democrat head of the House Intelligence Committee, Representative Adam B. Schiff of California, learned about the outlines of a CIA officer's concerns that President Trump had abused his powers before the officer filed a whistleblower complaint, according to a spokesman and current and former American officials. And here's the actual story from New York Times. But in order to read the whole story, you actually have to pay for their publication at New York Slime. Before going to Congress, the CIA officer had a colleague convey his accusations to the agency's top lawyer, concerned about how that avenue for airing his allegations was unfolding. The officer then approached a House Intelligence Committee aide, alerting him to the accusation against Mr. Trump. In both cases, the original accusation was vague. Once again, the 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 whistleblower went to the agency's top lawyer, then also went over to the House Intelligence Committee aide. The House staff member following the committee's procedures suggested the officer find a lawyer to advise him and file a whistleblower complaint. The aide shared some of what the officer conveyed to Mr. Schiff. The aide did not share the whistleblower's identity, though, with Mr. Schiff, an official said. Quote, like other whistleblowers have done before and since under Republican and Democratic controlled committees, the whistleblower contacted the committee for guidance on how to report possible wrongdoing within the jurisdiction of the intelligence community, said Patrick Bolin, a spox for Schiff. The CIA spy filed a whistleblower complaint in order to remain anonymous under the Whistleblower Protection Act. We also know that the rules for whistleblower uh, protection or for whistleblowers rules is that you can use secondhand knowledge and firsthand knowledge is not important. That was just changed prior to this. The whistleblower alleged that Trump used quid pro quo to pressure Zelensky to investigate the Biden crime family. The Trump Zelensky transcript was released and showed evidence to the contrary. That was Trump who he released that, right? And uh, so that proved it was already false. But now they're moving in to, for this impeachment inquiry uh, and with the Democratic controlled House against Trump. 
Schiff not only helped his CIA spy from the beginning, he libeled President Trump and read a completely fabricated transcript of the Trump's call to Zelensky during a congressional hearing. I read it to you in a video. It was shockingly sick. President Trump called for Adam Schiff to resign from Congress for the crime of fraudulently fabricating a statement of the President of the United States and reading it to Congress. President Trump said Adam Schiff should be charged and arrested for treason. As it says here, Adam Schiff illegally made up a fake and terrible statement, pretended it to be mine as the most important part of my call to the Ukrainian president, and read it out loud to Congress and the American people. It bore no relationship to what I said on the call. Arrest for treason? Coup conspiracy against President Trump confirmed, Tom Fenton said, to response to the New York Times story on Adam Schiff. Okay, so then what happened? Well, then this came up. This video proves that Shifty Shift lied, told reporters, we have not spoken directly with the whistleblower. Now, let me go over some events here. The whistleblower contacted the Democratic Committee's office days, we don't have the exact date on that, prior to actually filing the report, which was actually on August 12th. I will read that to you in a minute, but it was August 12th, okay? It's in the next report. Then, and Schiff already knew about it prior. On September 17th, a month and five days later, Schiff goes on Miss NBC right here, as it says right here, here's a Schiff from September 17th, 2019. A couple questions here um, on this whistleblower front. Uh, first off, have you heard from the whistleblower? Um, are you? Do you want to hear from the whistleblower? What protections could you uh, provide to the whistleblower? And then you also said that the DNI is refusing to turn over this stuff, citing uh, a request from a higher authority. The insinuation uh, left, at least for me and others, was that uh, the president himself had intervened. Is that the insinuation you sought to provide? And if so, what basis do you have for making that insinuation? Uh, we have not spoken directly with the whistleblower. Uh, we would like to, uh, but I'm sure the whistleblower has concerns that he has not been... It is. He talks very calmly when he just blatantly lied. ...advise as the law requires by the Inspector General or the Director of National Intelligence just as to how he is to communicate with Congress and... So there you go. Denying he ever spoke with him. I hope you could hear that. Trump tweeted, here's a fun video the RNC research team found from full of shift last week saying that they hadn't had any contact with the whistleblower. It's actually the exact same video. All right. So this one just came out and I started reading it to you right off the bat. Once again, Trump slams Schiff amid the New York Times bombshell report. Schiff is a fraud and he helped write the whistleblower complaint. Today, he said it. Trump took it a step further and said that Schiff helped write the whistleblower complaint. Trump received the New York Times story on Schiff on Wednesday as he gave a joint press conference with Finnish President Sali Ninisto. Quote, I love that question. It shows that Schiff is a fraud, Trump said in a response to the White House reporter about the latest New York Times bombshell report on Schiff. Well, I think it's a scandal that he knew before. I will go a step further. And I think he probably helped write it. Okay, that's what the word is, Trump said, praising the New York Times for reporting the Schiff bombshell. Praising the New York Times. I guess it's your lucky day, New York Times. <laughs> that's probably the first time that Donald Trump has ever praised the New York Times. <laughs> He, Schiff, knew long before, and he helped write it, too. It's a scam. Well, we already know that the law was changed for the whistleblower reports, right? Secondhand knowledge is good. We don't care, but we don't care if it's hearsay. It's good, right? Then, and he was an Obama appointee as well. Uh, I forgot the name of uh, this... Uh, this man who changed the law, the rules for a whistleblower complaint in the CIA. Okay, so then we know that the report is hearsay, but we also know that the report 
has been checked as first-hand knowledge. You know, there's a little box that says, is this first-hand knowledge? How much you want to bet that that was Schiff's idea or the lawyer, Schiff's lawyer? And here's Trump saying it today. There is a report that came out just before you and President Ninishta walked out here that the whistleblower met with a staff member of Adam Schiff prior oh, I love that to question. being filed. It shows that Schiff is a fraud. And I, I love that question. Thank you, John. So can I finish asking? <laughs> That's John from Fox News. Yes, there's nothing to finish. John Roberts. So, so the whistleblower, according to this report, met with a member of, sta of uh, Adam Schiff's staff. You got it right there. You know it. I hate to say it's the New York Times. I can't believe they wrote it. Your your response to the maybe fact they're getting that, better. Your response to the fact that that happened and the Schiff may have learned some of what the whistleblower knew prior to the complaint. Well, I think it's a scandal that he knew before. I go a step further. I think he probably helped write it. Okay, that's what the word is. And I think it's. Uh, I give a lot of respect for the New York Times for putting it out just happened as I'm walking up here they handed it to me and I said to Mike I said whoa that's something that's big stuff that's a big story he knew long before and he helped write it too it's a scam it's a scam just to finish on this I appreciate it. I love that second question by the way should have asked it first <laughs> <laughs> but but let, let me just tell you the whole thing is a scam the Mueller deal was a scam the Russian collusion was a scam. You can ask Putin. Nobody's been rougher on Russia than Donald Trump, okay? Now, with that being said, it'd be great to get along with Russia, and we will get along with Russia because it's smart, but nobody's been tougher on Russia than Donald Trump. Oh. The deep state spook filed a complaint on like I said, August 12th, my birthday, my birthday, based on secondhand knowledge and hearsay of Trump's July 25th phone call to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. So Schiff had knowledge of the accusations and worked discreetly for up to two weeks, just days after the whistleblower filed a claim of wrongdoing by President Trump. An aide to Schiff flew to Ukraine last month. So Schiff knew about the accusations well before the CIA spy, spy filed a whistleblower complaint and planned accordingly. Pardon me. Now Schiff is claiming he doesn't know the identity of the whistleblower. Now that's possible. Because the earlier report said that he knew, but he didn't know the, know the name of the whistleblower. He knew that he, uh, you know, file with the um, with the, uh, his aide and spoke to his lawyer. Schiff went into panic mode Wednesday afternoon and claimed he has never met with or spoken to the whistleblower. In fact, Schiff claimed he doesn't even know the identity of the whistleblower. So, my my belief is, oh, he definitely knows the name of the whistleblower even though that report said he didn't know. And the reason why is, why wouldn't he know? They went straight to the Democratic side of Congress. You know, CIA, and you know the CIA is really against Trump. So, and there's the report again from New York Times. Trump's praising it too. Schiff's in big, big trouble. He's in big trouble. But you know, Schiff has always been a big liar and says lies very convincingly, doesn't he? So please remember, folks, if you enjoy my news reporting, uh, I have a PayPal at the start of my channel. For only 66 cents a day, you can donate to my channel and my new service. Remember folks, 66 cents a day. Can you afford that, please? It amounts to about $20 a month. I have a PayPal on the front of my YouTube channel and I will be honoring those who donated to my channel. And remember, my PO box is 16 Midway, Georgia 31320. 
Thank you for listening.